I have bought so many Apple products over the years, including four Mac computers. Now that I'm older, wiser, and adopting a more minimalist lifestyle, I've decided to sell four of my Mac computers to buy the new M1 MacBook Pro. In this video, I'm going to tell you about the four Macs that I'm saying goodbye to, my current situation with the two Macs that I use on a daily basis, and at the end, I'm gonna tell you why I waited for six years to upgrade. Ciao amici, my name is Omar and welcome to my F-Universe. Until the M1 Max came along, there wasn't one Mac computer that was everything that I needed it and wanted it to be. My main machine that I've been using for the past six years is my 2015 15 inch MacBook Pro. I love this computer and it served me well. It's still in great shape and works perfectly today. It did everything that I needed it to from web browsing to photo and video editing. And I love the many IO options that we got. The issues that I had with this MacBook is that it's a little too big and too heavy for me to carry around around. The battery life is terrible if I'm doing anything taxing like video editing. When the fans kick in, they get so loud. And I'm probably one of the very few people with this opinion, but I can't stand the MagSafe chargers. They're a pain to carry around. There are lots of rumors about MagSafe returning to the MacBooks, but I don't think I'd mind them today given how good the battery life is on these M1 Macs. But more on that later. My other main computer that I absolutely adore is my 2016 12 inch MacBook with Intel's M5 chip, eight gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of storage. I bought this MacBook when I was traveling a lot for work and was tired of lugging around the heavy and very big Windows laptop that work gave me. I've been using my MacBook for the past five years and I absolutely love that it's fanless, just like the new M1 MacBook Air. It's compact and it turned out to be a lot more powerful than people made it out to be on YouTube. I was able to pretty much do everything on it. I was able to edit photos on Photoshop. I was able to create huge PowerPoint presentations, Word documents, Excel spreadsheets while taking calls on Teams. I was able to design websites on Squarespace. Basically everything that I wanted this MacBook to do, it did it except for video editing. I was able to use Final Cut Pro to produce little clips or teasers of my music videos or live performances, but for intense video editing, I could never use it for that. Also, I didn't hate the butterfly keyboard until the M button started acting funny. Sometimes I would get double and triple Ms and sometimes I would get no Ms at all. Now my name is Omar, so you can imagine why that was annoying. I didn't like that we only had one USB-C port, but I didn't mind because the form factor more than made up for that. And I have a dongle that's been working perfectly for the past five years. If you're enjoying this video so far, please make sure to give it a thumbs up as that would really help my channel. The third Mac that I owned was a 2012 13 inch MacBook Pro with a dual core Intel 5 processor, four gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of storage. I bought this MacBook Pro in early 2015 on a major discount solely for the Firewire port to connect my MacBook Pro to audio mixers at live shows and be able to record individual instrument tracks. That was it. Other than that, it was thick, heavy, slow, laggy, and it got slower and even more laggy every single year. I was not sad to let that MacBook Pro go and I sold it the first chance that I got. That's why it didn't make an appearance in this video. But I do have the box. The last computer that I sold was my 2009 27 inch iMac. My mom bought me this iMac when I told her that I wanted to seriously pursue a career in music. I had just graduated university and I had no money at all, so I couldn't afford one. To this day, that iMac is the best present that I ever got. Back then, I was writing songs like crazy and I couldn't find anybody to produce my music for me. I didn't have Fiverr or Soundbetter or Splice or any of the awesome websites that provide music production services these days at very low rates. So I decided to learn how to produce music on my own and I bought myself a DG Design Mbox 2 and I started learning how to use Pro Tools and within a year and a half, I produced my album Resurrected, which was my first album ever that turned 10 
this year. To honor that album's 10th year anniversary, I actually had some of the songs reproduced and you can check them out at my music channel. I'm gonna leave links in the description. Anyway, this iMac still works perfectly today. Not for anything heavy like video editing or music production, but it still works for web browsing, for creating small documents. It's insane that it still works. That's a testament to you know, how long Apple's products last. But the thing is, I just don't need this iMac anymore and I hardly ever use it these days. So it just didn't make sense for me to keep it. But yeah, that iMac will always have a special place in my heart. We all know buying a Mac is quite the investment and until the M1 Macs were announced, I honestly could not find a compelling reason to upgrade my setup. I was convinced that I still had the best combination of MacBooks by using my 15 inch MacBook Pro from 2015 in the studio where it was always connected to a monitor and my 2016 12 inch MacBook, which I took with me everywhere. That 12 inch MacBook was my daily driver for the past five years. Can you say daily driver about computers or was that just phones? Anyway, with the issues that MacBooks had over the last few years with the butterfly keyboard, the fact that 13 inch MacBook Pros never got the same amount of power as their bigger siblings, the loud fans, the bad battery life, the lack of ports, the heating issues, the soaring, price tags, I was never convinced to buy another Mac until the M1 Macs were announced. They seemed to address every issue that I mentioned. Butterfly keyboard, gone. Power, M1, hello. Loud fans, <laughs> not those kind of fans. Yep. The M1 MacBook Air is fanless, just like my 12 inch MacBook from 2016, which I've been enjoying for many years. And the fan on the M1 13 inch MacBook Pro has not turned on once since I got it. When it comes to the battery life, the 13 inch M1 MacBook Pro has the best battery life on any portable computer on the market today at 20 hours of battery life. Price tag, this is half the price of a 16 inch MacBook Pro. When I saw the announcement, I thought, are you telling me that I'm gonna have more power than my 2015 15 inch MacBook Pro without the loud fans? the other fans, insane battery life, the portability of my 12 inch MacBook and at half the price of a 16 inch MacBook Pro, yep, it was a no brainer. If you found this video useful or entertaining, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. If you wanna check out my music, please make sure to check out my music channel as well. Ciao amici.